Hello viewers, in this video we are going to learn about a very interesting marketing strategy which is known as Blue Ocean Strategy. If you are new to this channel, I am Dr. Anisur Rahman and you are watching Business Manageopedia. Consider subscribing to get our latest videos. The concept of Blue Ocean Strategy was first introduced by Professors W. Chen Kim and Rennie Maborn in their book Blue Ocean Method – How to Create Uncontested Market Space and Make Competition Irrelevant. Let us start with the definition of Blue Ocean Strategy. Blue Ocean Strategy can be defined as a market for a product in which there is no or very little competition. This strategy relies around finding a business in which there are few competitors and no pricing pressure. The Blue Ocean Strategy is a marketing concept in which a company enters a market where there is little or no competition. The strategy focuses on leaving an existing market and searching for new markets. In a blue ocean, the price tag of the products are generally higher because of their monopoly. The type of leadership and management required to launch a blue ocean strategy is different from that of firms with short-term goals and mainly focus on enhancing shareholder value through stock buybacks, mergers and acquisitions. The blue ocean strategy can be applied to a variety of industries or businesses and is not limited to any one type. Blue Ocean refers to all the industries that do not exist today, which means the untapped market space that is free of competition. Demand is produced rather than competed over in a blue ocean. There is plenty of room for profitable and rapid expansion in these undiscovered and undeveloped sectors. Furthermore, the competition is irrelevant because the game's rules have yet to be established. Whereas Red Ocean Strategy is a zero-sum game focused on splitting the pie amongst competitors, Blue Ocean Strategy focuses on producing and or growing the pie. Simply said, this strategy entails leaving a highly competitive saturated industry and entering virgin territory. Let's understand Blue Ocean Strategy with the help of examples. The first example is that of Apple. Apple ventured into digital music in 2003 with its product iTunes. Apple made traditional sources of music distribution irrelevant because users can download legal and high quality music at a reasonable price from iTunes. When iTunes first entered the market, it fixed the recording industry's fundamental problems. As a result, iTunes reduced the trend of illegally downloading music while also meeting the need for specific songs versus complete albums in a digital format. The second example is that of Nintendo. During the early 2000s console wars, Nintendo was in the last position with game industry analysts recommending that the Kyoto-based company abandon the gaming console business entirely. Instead, Nintendo used Blue Ocean strategy to redefine market boundaries, resulting in Nintendo V, the best-selling video game console ever. The V targeted new customers and outsold both Sony's PlayStation and Microsoft's Xbox. Nintendo created a Blue Ocean strategy when it launched the V. For years, gaming companies had focused on making better and better machines. Nintendo focused on making the V fun. Now we discuss the advantages of Blue Ocean strategy. The first advantage is that in new markets, profit margins can be extremely high. The second point, successfully creating a Blue Ocean can result in brand equity that lasts for years or even decades. Third, the Blue Ocean strategy enables for a fundamental shift in mindset. It expands one's mental horizons and aids in the recognition of opportunities. Four, rather than unfounded theories, the Blue Ocean strategy is founded on confirmed data. 
it is built on tried and tested methods that have yielded positive outcomes in live market executions. 5. Products based on the Blue Ocean strategy do not force consumers to choose between value and price. It is the pursuit of differentiation and the low cost theorem at the same time. Number 6. Creating Blue Oceans is non zero sum with high payoff possibilities. Now we discuss the disadvantages of Blue Ocean strategy. Number 1. Because these marketplaces are emerging, there is a possibility of entirely misjudging the market and making a mistake. This can be difficult because establishing a blue ocean usually involves a significant investment. Number 2. Blue ocean ultimately become red oceans with the passage of time. Number 3. Much time and effort is needed to educate customers because blue oceans are new with no existing customer base. Number four, it's not easy to come up with revolutionary ideas and identify huge and untapped markets. Number five, when a new blue ocean is found, other sharks, uh, the word sharks here means your potential competitors. So other sharks, potential competitors from the red oceans and other adjacent oceans will be attracted to the new market. Now we are going to summarize what we have learned about blue oceans. Here are the key points. Number one, it's more practical. Blue ocean strategy initiated from a study that was conducted over 10 years and examined company successes and failures in more than 30 industries. It's based on proven data rather than unproven ideas. Second, in blue ocean, the competition does not matter. Your aim is to redefine industry boundaries and function within that new space, making the competition irrelevant. Third, in blue ocean, differentiation and low cost can coexist at the same time. Differentiation and low cost can both be achieved in a blue ocean strategy. Fourth, you have a framework to test ideas. The blue ocean idea index is part of the predominant strategy and lets companies test the commercial viability of ideas. So this is all about Blue Ocean strategy. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe this channel for more videos.